Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 22 of the Fantasy Village Let's Build. Guys, welcome back. I'm here in the village today, ready to continue to make some progress towards the completion of this place. And we are going to do just that today. I'm going to be working on another new build. Just seems like every episode, very productive coming on here and building something new. You know, gets us one step closer towards the finish line. I'm going to be working over on a new house. One thing I noticed, actually, I wanted to uh, place some slabs right here. I think I might have done those in the front. Yes, I did. So I missed that. But that's fine. We fixed it up now. I think everything else on this build is looking pretty good. This is a really simple build. It's just like a a little shed. I believe it is furnished on the inside. Yeah, we used some of the uh, the painting designs, which are really cool. Like there's like a little knife shelf, a uh, little, I guess, I don't know what to call this, uh, just some posters. And, you know, more posters and other things like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, just the uh, the paintings are actually uh, really, really awesome on this texture pack. So I'm going to be utilizing them when I start to work on interiors and things like that. You guys saw I used them as well right there, which was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, trying to add as much detail to the town as possible. So just speaking about more builds and adding more things, here are two new houses on the world that you guys may or may not have seen. I actually built both of these on my live stream most recent live stream on this world so uh this house right here is nothing new however this house is basically that house right there it's the same house same exact house same interior and everything just uh paste it on another plot so now we have three of those houses total one right here one right here and one right there and i do like how there are a few houses that are the same throughout the village i didn't want every single house to be the same design but some of them are so just keep that in mind however across the street here this house is a brand new design uh unique to this world there's no other houses that have this design so you know just trying to mix things up a little bit uh, so what i'm going to do today is start working on the third plot here and the third plot is going to be another new design however i'm going to make it look pretty similar to what we have over here uh with just maybe a few additions to it so it looks um you know a little bit more unique and everything like that so that's what we're going to work on today, so let me go ahead and grab the materials. I'm going to just get everything I need here. I'll, let's grab my wand while we're at it. It's definitely We definitely need some wanding for this. We're going to be using some world edit. We're going to grab some cobblestone. We need some gray stained clay for the roof. And I think that's uh, pretty solid for the start. Maybe I'll just grab some fences as well. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Similar design to, again, what we have over there, but we're going to start off with something a little different. Um, and the whole, the entire design is going to be slightly modified. So it's I can't just world edit, copy, and paste it over because it's not going to be the same. I'm going to create some different things about it. So that's why I'm going to do it from scratch. And I'm going to try to build like right here to start, I would say, is probably a good spot. So I'm going to take this across a couple of blocks, and this is going to be our new perimeter. I think it was just a little bit too close to that house, especially because the, the front awning of this build is sticking over into the pathway a little bit, which is something I did on purpose. All right, so let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go nine, 10, 11. I believe that this build over here was nine blocks across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna go with 11, make it a slightly larger. And I'm going to start by uh, taking the uh, the oak wood blocks and bringing them up through here on each side as well. We're definitely going to keep that as a part of the build. And also, the, since the pathway is going to be kind of slanted here, uh, there's going to be an adjustment I'm going to have to make to, you know, make this house actually accessible. But I definitely want to keep the theme of having this build kind of on the side of this ridge here, right up against the water. And I might even actually integrate some sort of water mill onto the back of this house if we have space for it. So let's go one, two, three, uh, four, five. That's five right there. So let's go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's gonna put us almost to the water. However, I don't want this thing to be a square. I'm actually gonna check to see if this build over here was a square. I don't remember. If it's nine across, then it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve actually is this one kind of interesting so it's an even number there so if that one's 12 which is three three blocks further i'm gonna make this one a little bit further as well so that's 11 so let's go 12 13 
I think 13 is what I'm going to do because then I can have the water mill right up against uh, the edge of the of the ocean, I guess. Or I guess this is a lake. Lake or ocean? I'm not really sure, but this is like the very edge of the village. All right, so let's take the perimeter around here on the other side as well. But, you know, we're getting pretty close to the finish line of the Fantasy Village. We're on episode 22 here. And uh, I've talked about this a few times, but my plan for now is to uh, do... 25 episodes so we're on 22 i think episode 23 well today's episode is going to be focused on working on this house and then i think i'm going to do interior for the rest because this is one of the last houses we're adding i'm going to add a few more duplicate houses around the village um, in terms of you know copy and pasting let's say maybe two more of these builds maybe one or two more of this style um, i might even take the design i'm working on today and paste it over on the other side of the village and add that a few more times just to add density to the village and then from there it's pretty much just adding trees and interiors and that's going to be kind of like the end of it so um just keep that in mind we're, we're getting pretty close to the finish line here so i think the last few episodes after this one today this might be our last exterior building video everything else from here on out is going to be some interior design for the last few episodes and uh and we're going to try to utilize this amazing resource pack uh, for the interior and just kind of you know recap everything wrap things up and and call it a let's build It's been a very fun. Let's build for sure. I honestly didn't expect it to last this long I thought I would probably Either lose interest in it or just stop it after maybe like 10 episodes But I kind of had like a second wind with this build and I've been really enjoying working on this thing. So um, It's been it's been fun and I'm pretty uh, happy to see it kind of coming to an end here soon. Not because I'm sick of it, because I'm actually genuinely pretty happy with the final product here. I think it's turning out really nice. All right, so we're going to take up this cobblestone going all the way up. And let's see, we want this to go approximately four blocks off the ground. Approximately. It can be five. One, two, three, four. Since I believe this one over here is one, two, three, four as well. So that works out. And I'm going to take the the wooden things across. So, you know, some of this build is going to be similar to, to what we've done in the past. However, we're going to make some modifications to the roofing design, or like the side of the front, I guess. And that will definitely make it a little bit different from the other stuff that we've done so far in the village. And just give us an extra house design here. You know, we'll see how I'm feeling about adding more builds around the village because I might honestly come in and do even more unique designs you know I'm sure there's there's plenty of other you know different things I can do so we'll definitely be experimenting so there's going to be the entrance to the build we're also going to add some windows here on those couple of spots going to be placing some slabs definitely keeping the slabs going around and I'm just going to do the uh the whole perimeter of the build all at once. I think it's a little bit easier to organize things like this and keep track of everything. Make sure I don't forget any specific details on each one of the sides. Do everything at once. I'm also going to put some upside down slabs here as well. We're having these run around. I actually don't know if I'm going to put them in between, like right there. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I probably will end up keeping that actually. I think that's probably something I want to do. So we'll have that wrap around to there. And there's our start. There's our perimeter. Um, let's see. So for the door, we want to place some upside down stairs for the door and the window. But the window is going to be only one block. So that can be our window designs right there. So again, very similar to what we have so far on this. It's going to start to, to get uh, different here real soon. So... Let's go ahead and take up some some blocks here and have those run up. But right up the middle here, I'm also going to do a, a pillar going up. And then I am going to... I don't think I'm going to do any windows here on the front of this. Kind of like what we did here. You're going to see there's going to be a window there. I'm actually not going to do that. I think I'm going to do something a little different. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... Well, first off, let's go ahead and get some, some wool. We're going to choose our wool design. I was thinking about going with some a different color, maybe some brown, light gray, just something a little bit different from our standard uh, white wool. Light gray isn't a huge difference, but I think it's like a small difference that could potentially make a difference. 
Brown is also an option as well. But they all have the same texture, which is nice. So there's so the difference between white and light gray is something that is very subtle. In fact, it comes it honestly makes me consider doing light gray for the whole village because I think it might actually be a little bit of a darker theme, a little bit better. Let's take a look here at the uh, the brown wool. I think I have experimented with this color in the past. This could be the winner here because I definitely want to be mixing this up from the other build and brown wool might be the way to do that. You know what? I think we're gonna roll with the brown wool. I think that's what what my uh, my option is gonna be here. I think at the end of this video, once we have this design completely built up, I think I'm gonna experiment with some world edit and see if I can come up with some different things. But let's uh, let's add some more detail to this. So what I'm gonna do next is have some stair designs run through here, kind of create something something like that, something interesting, something different from you guys what you guys have you've been used to seeing definitely going to be a different design and i don't even know if this is going to work you know it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have to really just kind of wait and see with this and it's going to depend but that right there without any uh roof design around it is something that i don't necessarily think works very well however i think if we do add some roof design this could could work out so let's do just that and I want to make sure that I do this correctly because there's been times in the past where I have I have messed this up. So what I do is I place a couple extra blocks on the edge here just to kind of confirm where I'm going to be starting this. And the confirmed spot is going to be right here. So then this is going to now run across this, which is exactly what I want. That is, I believe, what we did for the rest of the build. I'm going to check, though. Always good to double check take that up right there whoops and take this up on this side as well so let's see is this running right across that it is we're good we're right on the right track here this is going to be the same roof design though we're going to do the full block and then the stairs to make the roof taller than normal than like a standard build but you know fitting the the medieval theme the the fantasy theme whatever you want to call it here on the village so let's go ahead and take this up both sides of course we'll find a connection at the top and that'll definitely instantly make this design a little bit more you know it'll make it look better for sure it'll start to well, well actually i don't even know if it'll make it better but we'll we'll have a verdict in terms of if it's going to fit the final version of this house or not or if we need to make some adjustments but let's keep going. This one's going to be taller than the other ones around this area just because it's actually a couple blocks wider. So in Minecraft, the, the width or the height of the roof is uh, dependent on the width of the build. So if you're doing the stair design, that is. So that's what we are doing. So this one's going to be about, you know, three or four blocks taller. I think it's like three blocks taller than what you're seeing on these other builds, which I think should make it also look a little bit different. So we'll see. We're definitely going to keep that design. So there's the height of this roof, right? And that's obviously a pretty tall thing. So now we can start to add more detail to this and determine if this brown wool idea is going to come to fruition. So I think above this, well, first off, I'm going to definitely run some slabs across right here. Definitely. I think we're going to keep this design below. Uh, but what I am going to do is take this across a couple extra blocks here with some if I can actually get this block this is gonna be actually kind of a tough block to place here right there we're gonna we're gonna take this up two blocks anyway going all the way up so I guess we can kind of start that right now get this filled in and up here is gonna be some logs going across but I'm not super worried about that just yet we'll put that on the back burner Let's uh, let's just do this double stacked all the way up. Best way to do this probably is just to place the full blocks first and then come in with the stairs, I find. Because you have something, you have a buffer for every single block that you're going to place. Which is definitely a lot easier to place blocks when you have a buffer for them. So you don't have to kind of find the spot. and Especially on PC where things are a lot more precise. Okay, there we go. So now that's double stacked, so it just gives it a little bit more depth to it, which I think is going to help. 
And then here on the back of this, I think I'm going to just put some extra brown wool here. And the thing about the brown wool is in the inventory, it looks a little bit darker. It looks kind of almost orange in, you know, when you actually place the blocks down. So I don't know if the brown wool is going to work. I, I've tried using it in the past and I, I didn't like it. So it might just be one of those blocks where, you know, it's just not going to work. So I might have to, you know, give some other things a try. I was thinking maybe um, there's definitely other blocks that I want to try out, so we'll we'll get we'll get to those probably today. But I'm also going to place some slabs underneath it there for sure, and we're also going to place some slabs across the top like this, and then the rest of the space up here. Again, I'm going to continue with the brown wool, but I th I'd say there's probably about a 70% chance that I'm going to swap it out for another block, and maybe it doesn't even have to be wool. We can try out maybe some birch wood or one of the the different wooden colors we'd use that on the farmhouse on the other side of the village and it worked out pretty well so we can definitely give that a chance but that's looking like the front of this build obviously a lot different than what you're going to see uh, with the first two builds here we're going to take that out regardless and put the uh the fence coming down I, I definitely like that design in fact i might even put an upside down stair right there to kind of hold that up as well and we definitely need to add some more to this up here i'm thinking something along these lines maybe take some logs across break that open and then place some slabs above it like like this i think that's a good way to kind of neutralize that design there and that's i think what i'm gonna go with it's uh not super fancy but it definitely is different from the roof designs like for example something like well this is kind of like the original thing that i went with which i personally think is better but that's not really the goal here the goal is to make something different no window on this one as well we have some sideways stairs which is kind of interesting i'm gonna place a fence right there but i think that's pretty solid as far as what i want to do with this so now uh what i'm gonna do next it well first off we are gonna switch out that brown wool for something else i think we can definitely change the complexion of this build greatly if we do switch it out but we want to do the same thing on the back. And what I'm going to do right now is get the roof design put in. Uh, and just kind of get the shell of it put in. But I'm not going to detail it just yet. Since we've already detailed it once, you guys have seen basically what is going to what it's going to look like on every part of the roof that's going to be sticking out. So, and I'm going to actually be doing four sides of that since I did say I was going to do a slight variation to this build. So we're going to get to that in a second as well. But let's just get the... Um, the top point of these roofs found we're going to get those settled and then i'm going to do the sides as well which are also going to have some some push some push out points or whatever you want to call them i don't even know but we're going to get those built and then we'll finish off the episode with you know just organizing the interior in terms of where the windows are going to be where the floor is going to be and figuring out what block we want to replace that brown wool with which you know we'll, we'll see i'm going to take a look or take a you know step away from it for a second and see maybe if i can it'll grow on me or something i don't know sometimes that happens sometimes i'll place a block down originally i'm not really a big fan of it and then you know i come back to it a little while later and i just decide you know what actually i did kind of like this design so i'm going to keep it it happens it happens a lot actually so we'll see if that happens here i, I don't think it will though i'm not really a huge fan of the brown wool i've used it in the past and i didn't like it so i might have to go with something else but Regardless of that, let's go ahead and run the stairs across here. This is going to go right on top of the, the oak wood here. And this oak wood is going to continue down as well. Kind of have that connect through. It's not really necessary. It never gets shown, but it just helps a little bit. And what the heck? Ha oh, okay. <laughs> Block should not be there. Let's see. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so actually, luckily for me, that right there is the center point of the build. So that's good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take out some, some parts of this build on the side. And this is going to be kind of interesting since uh, this, this is something I haven't done on this build at all. So, or like on this Let's Build and on this series. So I'm not actually 100% sure how this is going to work. So it might need a little bit of, um, you know, we're going to have to mess around with this a little bit. Okay, so I want to take this out. So it's two blocks past there. That's good. And then we'll start to take this up here. 
but I'm not going to have it go all the way up on both sides because I don't want it to be kind of like this weird connection on the roof. So I'm just going to have to build it and just see what, what comes out of it. And I think that's actually going to be about as high as I go with this. So it'll be right here. It's going to be the connection to the side roof. Is that going to be okay from both sides? I think it might work. I think it will. But anyway, let's get it built on both sides. That's the only way we're going to know. Probably going to have to fill in the roof as well so I can get a full idea of how this is going to come together. But I'm adding extra roof points on both sides here just to kind of neutralize the, the roof design a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a try. All right, so it's going to come out like that. And we're going to have to modify the size of the build as well. Keep in mind, but that's a start. So let's do the same thing on the other side as well. Take this out a couple of blocks, break this open to the point where I think it's going to be right here. Take that out a couple blocks as well. Start to fill this up. We're going to double stack it as well, but I'll do that later. And just slowly but surely making this new house design here, having it come together. Not going to work on this too much longer, guys. I don't, I don't, again, I'm trying not to make these videos like 35 minutes long. Sometimes I get carried away and I just kind of get into a trance when I'm building. And, you know, I, I look at the time and see, oh my gosh, we're 33 minutes into this video and I'm not even done with what I wanted to do. So I'm going to try to avoid that as much as I can. So I'm not going to go for too much longer here, but let's just get at least part of this thing figured out. So let's take a look from this angle. It's so just kind of like a little design on the sides and I'm gonna fix the sides as well to kind of cater to this, but let's quickly um, double stack this and start to get some of the roof put in so I can actually get a full idea of if this is gonna work or not. And then I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I think we're gonna we're gonna close out shop for today, but I'll finish the rest of the house, you know, off camera and you guys will kind of see how that's gonna look at a later point. But you know, I, I wanna try to get the the basic idea of these houses built right so you guys can at least get a, an idea of what i'm thinking i kind of do just ramble about what i what i'm see like I'm, I'm just rambling about what i'm imagining in my head but you guys can't see that so it is a little bit confusing at times i'm sure but we'll have this run across here in fact we can just connect that across just so it helps me imagine things a little bit better all right so now let's start to get this roof put in this is going to take like no more than a minute to get this filled in. This is easy. That's why I actually do like using these full blocks as roof designs since I it, it minimizes the amount of times I have to play stairs. And if you guys have ever played PC Minecraft, especially if you've played console Minecraft before PC Minecraft, you'll know that placing stairs with a mouse and keyboard is a lot harder than it is with a controller. So any chance I can get to avoid placing stairs is something I'm gonna take. But anyway, let's run this across here and this is going to be two stacked up so this is going to be about two levels of roofing below the side parts as opposed to the top of the roof which i think is exactly what i was hoping for i was when i thought of the this design at the beginning i was like okay i was just like just note to self make the second parts of the roof maybe one or two shelves lower we ended up coming out with two shelves lower which i think is perfectly acceptable for me it's going to be slightly off center as well. I'm wondering if I should adjust it one block over so it is centered. That wasn't my original plan to, to think about that. You know, I didn't really, uh, you know, make that a, you know, a mental note to do that. Uh, not because I didn't think of it, just because, you know, I didn't think it would, it would matter. But I'm starting to think that it might. So maybe we will adjust this slightly. But I'll, of course, do that off camera since that's going to take some time. All right, so... We got that side filled in. Let's get this side quickly filled in as well. We're gonna take a step back and see see what this looks like. See if this is hopefully coming together the way I had hoped. Since this is a, a new design here. Slightly new. It's slightly modified, I guess you could say. It's it's all basically the same thing. I'm using all the same textures and things and the the same fundamental ideas when it comes to building that I've kind of you know come up with since the beginning of the series. Same fundamental concepts placing you know certain blocks in a certain formation to make it look like a fantasy build it's been the same since the beginning but it's definitely a winning formula love this village love the way it turned out all right so let's get these last few blocks filled in here 
we'll do we'll do everything just to kind of get a full view of what we're thinking here we'll get the we'll get the full view let's take a step back we'll look at it i might even take a second to swap out those brown wool blocks we'll use some world edit for that it'll take 30 seconds and we'll come to we'll come to a conclusion here on this episode we won't leave it open-ended i'll have a a finalized design i know i leave a lot of my episodes open-ended when it comes to builds you know i don't finish all the way but it is hard to do a full build in 25 minutes you know especially when I, i'm not really looking to make the videos that, like super duper long but this looks good from the front in terms of the roof design that one issue that i'm having with this um is the way the design connects to the side so i think i am going to adjust that over one block but i think this is going to work out in the long run you know as you can see like the side roof right now is kind of floating that's not what I want, so I'm going to be fixing that for sure. But let's wrap things up, guys, with um, some... Whoops, did I just screw that up? Yep, I did screw that up. I meant to uh, to axe it here so I can do some world edit. So let's go ahead and set this as our position two. We're going to get the brown wool, which is 3512, and we're going to replace it with some other block designs. So let's go through the inventory here. I, you know, I actually want to go check over by the farmhouse just real quick and see... Uh, what I chose for that. I believe I used birch on the side, which could potentially work. Um, that's birch right there, which I think is looks looks pretty nice, honestly. Um, other blocks I could potentially go with would be um, the bone block. Actually, I don't... No, wait, hold on. The bone block is not going to be something I can use because this is the... Uh, yeah, this is... Never mind. The bone block is still in the default texture back. This is 1.9 version. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. White stained clay was the option that I was thinking of, not bone blocks. This is an interesting block because it has cracks in it um, because of the Optifine zoom, so, or because of the connecting textures, I should say. So let's take a look here. Let's do replace. Actually, we got to check the ID on this one. So 159. Let's do replace um, 3512 with 159. Let's take a look. So that's the first thought, right? And honestly, guys, I'm probably going to come through and replace the entire world's white wool with uh, light, uh, what is this, uh, white stained clay. Because it's got these cool textures that connect together, and it just looks really, really sweet. Honestly, that might be what I go with, possibly. Um, you know, there's other options. Let's try the birch out. So let's do, um, let's do, some, let's do an undo job here. Let's grab some, uh, some birch wood and take a look at this. Birchwood is going to be 17.2. So let's do replace 35.12 with, let's give 17.2 a chance. That's also, whoops, that's also another option as well. I like the white stained clay more, personally, but that's another option. Um, you know, I'm, there's plenty of other options that I could go with, you know, jungle planks, just regular birchwood blocks. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably going to take some time, actually, and go through and make a final decision on this. But I think we have some front runners uh, in the clubhouse. What, what about yellow stained clay? I haven't really dabbled with this at all. This is definitely an option as well. Oh, yellow stained clay might be the winner, actually. That looks really nice. Let's give yellow stained clay a shot here, guys, real quick. And then I promise that's going to be the end of today's episode. So let's give yellow stain clay a try. This is going to be, uh, whoa, 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 hold on a second. It's uh, 159.4. All right. 159.4. Let's give that a shot. You know, that might be the winner right there because that, that's what I wanted. I wanted a different color than white, and that works out pretty good. I think that's what we're going to go with. Yellow stained clay for that build is going to be the option. Like, that's something I never would have thought I would have used. Again, but I'm not even serious when I say, or I am serious when I say, I am going to give some other things to try. Like, I'm going to go through all these blocks and try a bunch of different things until we have a, a final decision. But I think Yellow Stained Clay definitely is our clubhouse leader. This one looks real nice. But anyway, guys, I'm going to continue to refine this design uh, and get it working real good for this final spot here on this uh, cul-de-sac plot right on the edge of town. Um, we'll get it connected to the water nicely. I'll put the water mill on it add some you know leaves on the roof and things like that and it'll uh fit the town very nicely so uh with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching this episode of the fantasy village let's build we're getting really close to having this place done i would say three more episodes of recording and this place will be completed so getting pretty excited it's uh definitely coming together lots of builds all over the place 
as far as the eye can see. So we're getting closer to the finish line. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.